Oh, bloody hell. Hey folks, uh, Scene Trophy Hunter here. We got our episode 8 uh, <coughs> of the vlog. Now, it's been an interesting week for me. Um, beforehand, uh, I didn't really have much going on, I have to say. And even my friend, Hell's Fate, uh, said, Ooh, you know, have you got anything, uh, any, you know, any subject uh, to talk about f on your uh, vlog uh, for tomorrow? And I'm like, no, not really, you know. Um, just a competition that we're going to be entering. Yes, we're in another contest. Um, and I think I went over that with the last vlog that the team is me, Almighty Sharkster, and Hell's Fate. But, oh bloody hell. So, let me fill you in, guys, okay? I was fine on friday i did the work did everything like that and you know it was, it was a good day it was a good day had a good uh, a fucking awesome weekend had an absolutely awesome weekend um and um come monday i went to work and we do this health screening thing at work and uh hence one Still partially in my uniform, blue collar and that. Um, and I failed it. I failed the health screen. For the first time, I failed the health screen. Now, I got close quite a few times, but this time I just failed it straight out. Temperature was 100. And, you know, they let me, they let me sit for a bit and take it again. And it was down a little bit. Uh, told him I had a headache, that was it. And I've been fighting a headache for a weekend, that's that's true. And if the headache is just like on this right eye here, and it kind of goes over. It's not a sinus headache or anything like that. And you see this bump, this bump usually tells me that there's a headache coming or something like that. The bigger it is, the headache's coming. This is kind of, it's a little bit bigger than it usually is, but, you know. And I think I told you about that in a, in a, in a vlog as well. Anyway. Because I failed the test, uh, they actually let me through because it was lower a little bit, not by much. And as I'm pre-tripping my bus in the morning, 5.40 in the morning, I'm supposed to roll out. So I was pre-tripping the bus about 5.30 in the morning, something like that. And one of my supervisors came up to me while I was doing it and he said, look, it was a, it was, it was a bit too high. We've got somebody to stand in for you. Uh, do you want to, you know, um, go home? or you can go home. I was like, okay, sure. You know, I was feeling a little bit rough, but I wasn't feeling anything like COVID or anything like that. Um, and uh, so I get home and then the headache's starting to get a little bit worse. So I took something for it and I told my friends on the internet that, you know, guess what? Um, I failed the, the, failed the uh, health screening and um, I have to take the day off, try and get the temperature down, and I fought like fuck to get that thing down, and it wouldn't budge any lower than 99.7, 99.8, and I seem to have been having flushes instead, you know, it would go up and it would go down. I did have a fever, it was only a slight one, it wasn't one that would ground me, but I did spend the rest of Monday night, or, well, Monday all the way up until Monday night in bed and you know so the washing up wasn't done or anything like that my wife uh, cat comes home and I think she found out that nothing had been done she came upstairs and she found me in bed and she says Sean have you been in bed all this time and I said yeah and she goes are you all right I said I've got a headache and I've got sent you know I text her to say that I failed the test um so I hadn't touched games or anything like that. I just didn't, you know, the headache was a pain in the butt. It really was. And so anyway, the following day, Tuesday, I had off to try and get everything under control, break the fever, which wasn't hard because it was only a slight one, um, break the fever, try and get the temperature down as best as I possibly could. Um, about 99.7, 99.5. I 
How you got it down to? We got the thermometer here. All right, 98.7 was last one. So I thought I was fine for work. Let's have a look. Ninety nine point five. See, it goes up and down. It's ridiculous. Anyway, ninety nine point five is higher than ninety eight ninety eight point seven, isn't it? Really. So, yesterday I took the time off to get everything under control. I was feeling good. I, uh, you know, I played a little bit of games. Didn't do too much. I did lay down for a bit, but not not for much. Uh, didn't sleep very well last night, according to my wife, and. I went to work this morning, and I, f I passed. I passed the 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 uh, thing. It was ninety seven point seven because it was fucking cold outside this morning. So I, I passed the I passed the health screen, and I'm feeling quite happy. I'm feeling I'm I'm feeling happy that everything's all over and done with, and everything like that. And I'm driving around now. It's a little bit dark. And I almost missed my first passenger because he was dressed in grey and he was standing against concrete, you know. So that I didn't think too much of. The second stop, there was a guy dressed in high-vis jacket and I couldn't tell if it was one or two people. And I thought, well, that's odd. It's a little bit blurry. And I thought it might be just a light reflecting off jacket. And so I get to the connection centre downtown and where my bus is positioned, there's a stop sign couple of hundred feet something like that um, down the road and I can usually see it clear as day it's sharp you know um, because it's one of the criteria for driving a bus we have to have pass a CDL test co commercial driver license and I could not read this sign and I was like what's what's going on and so I took my glasses off you know, they're, they're uh, bifocal at the bottom, but they're, they're lineless, so you can't see the line. But the key to wearing these is looking right dead in the middle. And it was like I was looking at the bottom. I wasn't looking at the bottom, but it was like you're looking at the bottom. If you tip head over and you, you can't look through. It's designed for close up, not far away, so it was blurry as hell. And I was like, well, okay, let's readjust this, and then we'll clean them and stuff like that. And then I did a test in the bus. I put a piece of card with some lettering on it in the fare box so it stood up. Stood back as far as I could until I couldn't read it. And I didn't even get across the yellow line before I couldn't read it. And I was like, oh shit. Something's happened to my eyes during the time I've been sick. Because my last time I had an eye test was in March this year, 2020. So needless to say, because I had all that done, that my insurance was already used. So I had to pay $100 for this eye test. Um, so we'll get to that. Um, so as soon as I realized that the, the, the signs were blurry, you know, and I got to one of our bus stops and we have these like uh, very long signs that have the bus number, a telephone number. I couldn't even read the telephone number. And so I called in and said, look, um, I've got blurred vision. I can see close up, no problem. I can see the dash, I can see the console, but I cannot see road signs. I cannot write, read them clearly. Although I know what they say because I've been driving this route for like four plus years or so. Um, I, I know what the signs say, but I can't read them. And of course, I'm passing up uh, or not not reading passengers properly either because I thought the guy with the high vis vest was too or whatever because it was blurry and it wasn't the lights, it was my vision. Um, and part probably why I didn't see um, my first passenger in grey. I don't know about that one. I think that was just a uh, fluke. Anyway. So I called them and they said, uh, can you make it to um, to base? And I said, yeah, um, no, pro you know, no problem. Um, and they said, OK, so drive to base and we'll get you swapped out. Was, so they took me off the road. So I had another day off. And this day off was such a doozy. And this is where, oh, bloody hell comes into it. I mean, you know, you're thinking like, OK, the vision. All right. So we need to get this sorted. We do need to get this sorted. Now, I know my right eye is not good, okay? 
It's the worst eye out of the two. The left eye is much better eye, and I can, I can see perfectly fine through my glasses lens with my left eye. My right eye, however, is blurred. It shouldn't be. And so the first thing I did was um, contacted my supervisor and told him what my plan was to go and see an optician, get an eye test, and um, go from there. Well, they couldn't see me till 12, because uh, they were at the mall and um, my appointment was at 12.15 uh, there was a lot of people there so I still had to wait I was there for a couple of hours and I spent $109 on the eye test because there's this OptiMap thing and I, so I really wanted to know what was going on with my eye you know so I was going all out with it I was texting Kat and saying what I was going to do and she goes yeah 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 do it do it because she knows how important the eyes are to the job and stuff like that well anything's really important to the job but being able to see very clearly is a key factor of my job and it's part of the cdl test now as it stands right now i think i would fail it with my uh, glasses that i have so anyway i had the eye test 109 dollars. she walked me through it um the uh, right eye has got a lot worse. The last eye, t eye test was March 2020. So my right eye has got worse from March to now, which is uh, se September 30th, 2020. That doesn't usually happen. That usually goes over a year, but or years, a couple of years. Um, and um, could be explaining why we got this uh, like headache thing going on here it's not it's not a heavy headache it's just tender and um so it turned out the prescription is now needing to be updated i need to get new glasses i was like okay that's cool I, i'll go with that because i can't see dick out of these and we even did a, a test with the glasses on and i could barely read the top line clearly now i could i could i could read it it was fuzzy second line very fuzzy. I could probably guess it. Third line, good luck. Beforehand, when I had the test in March, which was the same time I had the CDL test, I passed because I could almost read the bottom line. And they said, yeah, you, your prescription hasn't changed. It's changed a little bit, but not enough to uh, warrant you buying glasses. So you'd be OK for another couple of years. I was like, OK, that's cool. So that's where I use my insurance up, unfortunately. And so this turned out that I needed new glasses and I had to have, you know, I wanted the same spec as these lens, very, fo uh, you know, bifocal, but lineless. Uh, transition lenses, which means they go dark, um, but they don't go dark in the bus because our bus has UV uh, filters, uh, but it does go dark outside. Um, and also anti-glare because not, uh, driving at night or driving early in the morning, you're going to get a little bit of glare from the night driving. So I did all that, bells and whistles. Paid for one of them because it was going to be buy one, get one free for 709 I think it were. 729 sorry. And so the lady offered me this voucher and said, you, you know, we could, we could do a pair of glasses to that spec uh, for you for 422 and I was like okay I'll take that because I think that's what she'll t ask me to take you know don't really use the sunglasses that much so I only ne really need one pair and um, so I paid for it and you know walked out I got on the bus uh, I text my wife saying hey look this is what's happened I'm, I'm uh, at work now I'm just gonna fill them in on what's going on um, it's gonna take 14 days for the glasses to come through so I need to tell them that um, so I'm going to, you know, possibly have blurred vision for 14 days. Are they going to be okay with that? Um, of course not. Uh, and then my wife was like, why didn't you, you know, you should, you should go for the buy one, get one free for 709. I'm like, that means I have to go back. She goes, yeah, but and I was, you, you could call. And I said, no, I have to pay for them. So off I went back and I had to wait like 20 minutes, which is OK, because I stuffed my face with soft pretzels. So Aubrey, if you're watching this, sorry, I was thinking of you while I was eating them. Um, my eldest daughter loves soft pretzels. Um, anyway. 
So I went back and I said to the lady who offered me the voucher, I said, look, um, my wife said to me, I should go for the buy one, get one free, get the sunglasses as well as because it could be the light that is giving me the headache or I'm getting photosensitive or something like that. So we, we'll go with the sunglasses with the same lens, you know, the bifocal, lineless, obviously not transition lenses because they're going to be sunglasses um, and the anti-glare. So that fair enough. Uh, so we ended up spending seven hundred and twenty nine dollars on the glasses, one hundred and nine dollars on the eye test. So it's, it's building up. It's building up but it gets better it gets better so after i finished with the opticians for the second time i've got an itchy nose when do i never have an itchy nose um probably because of the tash um heading back to the bus catch the bus go back to work trying to talk to him again uh, this time I, I managed to get hold of the supervisor I was talking to and reported it to in the morning told him what was going on and uh, he said okay and then they said well this could be a, a CDL no we were talking to his manager and he said well this is a CDL matter and we need to talk to safety and I was like oh crap you know, I never foresaw this coming. I never foresaw this coming. But they're right. They're absolutely right. 100% right. Because we have to do an eye test in the CDL. And right now, I would fail it. I have a really good strong feeling I'm going to fail it. Or I would fail it. Anyway, to put this to the, the test, we, we talked to the safety guy. Um, and he said, need to go to the health clinic. Get yourself... Uh, I test like you would in the CDL uh, exam. And if you pass, all good. If you don't, you're gonna have to stand down and be suspended for 14 days. And I'm like, but I've had most of this week off already. You know, with falling ill, taking the day to try and get over it. Today's Wednesday. So my eyes are fucking up. I've got tomorrow off so that I can go to the health clinic, which I got an appointment at 8.30 in the morning. But even when I'm done after that, um, I'm off. And then I could be suspended for 14 days because my glasses won't arrive or won't be ready until 14 days. So a lot rides on tomorrow. I will do a vlog update for you guys to let you know how I got on at the doctors tomorrow with with the test. Um, just as a follow up, because I can't really do that unless I had editing software and I'm vowing never, well, <laughs> not never, but this is uncut, you know, this is unedited. This is real. This is what you're going to get. So this is what this is what I want it to be. Um, and so I'm going to do an update for you tomorrow. It'll be a short one, maybe. Depends what's going on. Depends what happens tomorrow, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of in the air. It does have me worried. Um, and even me and my wife were joking about um, that, you know, there might be a tumor behind you know it's like yeah you know it, it, we were talking about it and then she goes like you know i said yeah you watch and i even said this to my friend on uh discord today and he was like what you didn't tell me that you had a tumor i said no 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 no, no. i said you wait there'll be a tumor behind my right eye uh, you know that's how, this is how my luck's going that's 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 kind of the the premise i was going on and so it was the same with uh my wife and my wife was like well you be but you you'd have it removed and i'd be like Ain't no one cutting my head open to, uh, to pull out a tumour. Ain't nobody cutting my body open to pull out anything. I would rather die in one piece, thanks. But she's going to get upset about that. But you know what? I think the fear of going through the thought... Because I've been, I've been there before with my dentures. You know, when I had, before I had my, my teeth pulled out, the hardest part was the worry of what's going to happen, what it's gonna feel like, the fact that I'm gonna lose all my teeth and not 
getting put back in you know it's like it's almost like feels like or felt like to me that you're going to lose a limb because you can't have it put back on well you probably can but you know that kind of thing and this is going to be a similar sort of thing they're going to pull open uh, you know they're going to pop open my head they're going to pull something out and there's a possibility i know that it's what they do every day and stuff like that maybe or something like that you know they're specialists that i know i know i know but you you still can't help feeling thinking about it, can you they're gonna pop over my head they're going to pull out whatever it is if there is something there and possibly damage me while they do it because let's face it it's a very very delicate thing and worrying about that would be the wor worst thing over the procedure i mean another procedure is that you get knocked out you don't know anything about it until you wake up and then you got stitches in your head or whatever i don't know i i honestly don't know i've never had my head popped open or my arm removed or anything like that i have had my teeth removed i did wake up with gauze in my mouth and uh, dentures and blood and i was in the car and uh, so i know the procedure is going to be painless because you're not going to know anything about it but it's the build-up, you know. It's the build-up. Now, would I be able to go over that psychologically, you know, the build-up psychologically? I don't know. I think I could. I think I could by just thinking that myself, and I, I, I've been thinking about this myself for quite a bit. You know, when our bodies get damaged or hurt, you know, or anything like that, or we lose a finger like a friend of mine at, uh, at work has. Uh, he lost half a finger. Um, he jokes about it and um he watched them sew it up as well i mean anyway it, the way i look at it you know i've been looking at it is that it is the body not the soul i don't think there, there are things that can damage your soul um been there you know thinking that my soul was sucked out of me a couple of weeks ago um so that probably is the worst thing a body is body it's not you it's what your soul is in it's what your soul is controlling and if i look at it that way it's just repairing the body you know because the soul is really you and you, you know no amount of surgery or shit like that is going to really change your soul is it it changes a lot of people because they believe they can't do things and for the most part they can't you know you you lose your arms you can't lift up a cup but you try and get in that mindset of that it is just a body and your soul is you then it probably is a little bit easier to get over the idea that someone's going to pop open the head of the body to suck out whatever it is i'm just speaking hypothetically i'm not saying that i have anything in there or anything like that <laughs> which my friend thought i did say i was like no 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 read the message again um but I, I know the fear would kill me more um and if i didn't get a grip of it that fear would drive me to taking my own life because i'd be like i would rather die than have someone pop over my head it sounds ridiculous it probably sounds so selfish but when you're in that when you're in that space and they're not even though they may have had the procedure if they had they might reassure you that it's okay you know it's okay sean it, you know it's a little bit uncomfortable but trust me it's a lot better than uh what it was beforehand neither here nor there i mean i remember when cat had you know she discovered that she had to have her first tooth pulled out and that was about three years ago i think three or four years ago she panicked and i'm like i've had so many teeth out baby it's not that bad and i understood it was the build-up i understood it was the build-up and even the, the even the toothache is worse than the actual procedure because once that fucker goes the relief that comes from it is like oh my god and i've actually reacted like that once when they popped out my wisdom tooth and i was like because it, it really hurt it was broken um and then and i was like oh thank you it all all of a sudden it had gone you know i was like 
Wow. And I looked at it and it was damaged to fuck. It really was. So, yeah, we got that going on. Um, and I'm not thinking about anything that isn't, po you know, that isn't confirmed. So, um, I just hope that it's, it's just a normal thing. Um, and I don't have too much expectation of passing because I've already proved at the optician reading through these glasses that I cannot see the top line clearly and I certainly cannot see the to uh, the second line best guessing kind of thing so I I, I think I'm going to fail um, I don't know I don't know maybe, maybe I need some eye drops that will clear them or something like that that they'll do for me before taking that test or you know we might have to run that test a couple of times i don't know um obviously i do want to pass because I, I can drive with that kind of vision no because i mean i passed up almost passed up two passengers well i could, could i passed up almost passed up one passenger and i couldn't tell if the other one was two or one so maybe i can't maybe i can't i mean it's i'm a very principal person so it's the principal as well you know i could blag it knowing that i cheated my way through it and then have an accident and they'd be like well you thought i thought you said that you passed and it's like dude but i guessed it all so i need to be really honest with it but well, i'll let you know i'll let you know tomorrow in a short little vlog of uh what the outcome is and are we going to be suspended for 14 days sucks they used to do the glasses on site but because of covid i don't think their lab is operational um so you could get them done within like four hours or something but now they have to be sent off understandable understandable and i can't wait to get them because the clarity that i had when i was looking through that big machine thing that they were changing the lenses was just amazing hugely hugely amazing and then when i put my gla other glasses back on it was like oh wow um so yeah that try let's try let's try and get off uh um uh, that kind of subject for for now um what have we been doing I'm just sure I try to think if there's anything else that uh, I'm missing beforehand. No, I don't think so. So what have we been doing? We've been doing extremely well. That's what we've been doing. You know, I said that we had a really, really good weekend. Oh my God, was it a good weekend? So I'm going to switch to this. We haven't fixed this yet. We have fixed this on the stream in fact let me show you let me let me walk you through so here's our stream starting i don't know if you can see that i hope you can that's our stream uh, starting screen and this is nothing because the game screen is changed it's that we've changed the game screen and at the moment there it looks a little bit empty so I'll show you what it looks like in a minute um, then we've got the be right back screen so in that square there in the top right that's where a camera would be on the game and then we got the end screen I would like to thank everybody that contributed during the stream and then it would go up like credits in Star Wars I thought that was kind of cool I thought that was kind of cool but now now we have this this is what we look like now so as you can see at bottom left hand side we got a spinning logo of uh, Sin Trophy Hunter Powered by Nocti, which is an incredible guy who actually did this. We worked together on it. I gave him a few ideas. He came up with a frame, and I was like, ooh, what about this and this? 
Um, first of all, I had the, you see the text scrolling on the bottom right there? That was in the middle with the world rank and everything like that. And I was like, okay. And then we put the charity in the right hand side and it just looked too crowded. So I was like, okay, let's have static numbers for the UK rank, which is the left hand side. Uh, yeah, left hand side here. That's my UK rank. Then we got US rank and then we got world rank. And they were in blue letters um, or blue font at the, at the time. And it was all getting lost, you know, it was all getting lost. So I said, what about yellow? And yellow in the middle, flanked by blue. It looks quite nice. It does look quite nice. So we, we kept that. And then at the top right, we got a trophy, which is a platinum uh, trophy icon there with 201. That means I got 201 platinums. That's out of date now. We got a 202 actually. And then obviously at top right, uh, top left hand side, Sin Trophy Hunter. And some people have said they can't see the I in Sin. But if you look at the N just here, where my cursor is, that is thicker than that one or that one. And so it's the I is right next to it. It's the font. The font's really cool, actually. It's called something in your pants. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool font. I like it. So this is our game screen. This is our starting screen. We got this we call it ending this shit and we got a push cap there a little bit of a wave which is kind of cool and stream ending so it's the same animation as uh stream starting and then we got pc at the moment he didn't say we didn't save the setting to get rid of this we did figure out how it is done though so it does it does do it somehow totally lost the plot there uh so yeah that's that's um one of the things we've been getting up to hope to vlog and it's amazing nocti has done some fantastic work for all of us 
Um, I would leave this link, but I don't really want to plague him with anybody who wants to get work done or anything like that. But if you guys would like to chat to Nocti and see if there's anything he can do. He's a very, very busy man, but he does enjoy doing this when he's got some free time. Hit him up in our Discord. I will leave our Discord link um, so you can check it out and, and uh, talk to him one-on-one -on -one if you like. So, what else? That that is the key thing. So this is this is part of their um, goals. Now then, he's got a ping. Food at the door. Oh great. Um. So there's food at the door. I have to go in, get the food, huh? Uh, vlog ideas. No, we want goals. Where's the goals gone? Oh, there they are. Okay. So, obviously, goals. Uh, one or two things. You know, new thing for the stream. Well, that's the layout. That's the new layout. It's got a lot of praise. A lot of people like it. A lot of people like the first one. Um, it's been a year since I've been streaming, so I figured that the stream needs a birthday as well, you know, and so we redesigned it, um, including actually all the about me stuff on Twitch. Looks fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's done. So the other one was make an intro. Now I did make an intro, but it kind of didn't work out too well. So go back to new overlay. In progress, that's for sure. It's what you heard at the beginning. <laughs> and you might not have heard some audio on some of those um, be right back screens or something like that because I took the mic out for it. Um, as it, there's no need for it. Right, hang on a second. Oh yeah, vlog intro. Okay, so this is the vlog intro that I've started to make. I made it, I made it last Wednesday, I think it were, and I found this on. I can't remember what it was on now. And uh, it goes like this. I think we got to interact with it. It goes a bit like this. Now that's the intro to the vlog. The intros have got to be like, uh, they recommend intros be like um, three seconds. At first I read it as five seconds. And so, you know, I made a five second one and even that was hard to get the music right with animation and stuff like that. It took me, I would say three hours to do um, for that little three second thing because there was a lot of chopping stuff trying to find music that would line up and if you notice it kind of goes ching do, 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 ching and it does the ching when sin trophies uh, sin trophy hunters and then the next one is vlog both appear on the chings that I'll show you again See, and that took a, that took a little while to get a piece of music that would line up with that. Um, uh, purely, it was at, at the beginning. It was fl uh, fluke, and I watched it. And I was like, "Oh, ooh, that's cool," but it was a little bit further on in the song or the music that I found it dead on, and I was like, "Oh, cool." So I like it, but um, as Nocti stated out to me that it has the play button at the moment so it's not really a professional intro as yet it is WIP work in progress is what he calls it it is work in progress and I believe he made a, a very quick one and managed to download it which is what I need to do I need to download it because I saved the work because it took me all the way up until 10 in the evening to do um, and so I couldn't really wait for it to download you know 
and uh, publish it. And um, so I saved it. And that's that's all I've got of it. But I go back into the program and actually do it and save it pro or download it properly so that I can use it. So hopefully that will be in our next vlog. And it will be in our vlogs for until I find a, a better one. But like I said uh, right at the beginning, this vlog is going to hopefully improve in stages as it goes along. That's the whole idea. It starts off rough. It's like a sculpture in stone. It's in there. You just got to chip away at it. And hopefully by the end of, well, whenever the vlog ends, I don't think it's going to end, is it? It's just, it's just going to progress through the years, you know? Um, and that's one of them. That's one of them. And I'm really excited. I was so excited when I got that fucking thing going. I was like, oh, look what I've done. Three hours for three seconds work, you know, because it was hard to knock down all that all that I wanted into a five second one. And then I read that, you know, most uh, YouTube intros are three seconds long. And I'm like, you're kidding me. How? How do you get a good intro? For three seconds and i watched a few of my favorite youtubers like bad driver and stuff and that's three seconds but it's good and so i was like it can be done it can be done fuck it we can do it okay so ranks ranks we go to the profile and then we're gonna go this and we're not gonna go with that yet we're not gonna go with that we'll go go with this so ranks ranks people seen trophy hunter uh wednesday to wednesday we are over 50 percent in level 44 psn now which is awesome we have 202 platinums we'll get to that in a bit so we go to the ranks I wanted to make my goal to be in the US rank 1,800. Look at that. 1,748. We smashed it. So much more than I thought we would. I thought we were going to go 1,800. For the, uh, for the first two days, I was in the red. I'm not going to lie. But they were like maybe six or two points down. Uh, I think my country rank was the lowest was 10 down. And this was like six. Um, so, yeah, 1,748. Fuck me, we're getting close to the, the, the uh, 900s here. We, are, we really are. Um, and world rank, I wanted 8,400. Again, smashed it. Literally smashed it. I don't know quite how we smashed it, but we smashed it. We took... Almost, what, 340-odd points off that? 360 points off that? It's 350, actually, isn't it? It's 50, 60, 70, 80, no? 70, 80. 370-odd uh, three, uh, points off that, I think. So, yeah. No, actually, we, we, we're, we're up 153, uh, but... We're way uh, below our predicament, which is cool. And we're up 48. See, it's getting lower. It's getting uh, the, the, the being up is a lot lower than what it has been. Uh, the country, uh, the world rank is still staying in the hundreds. So that's cool. Being up 100 and something. Um, what else we got? We were aiming for 200 plats. We got 202 plats. So we'll get to the, the game of... The Wednesday to Wednesday. I want to say game of the week, but it's not, is it? It's Wednesday to Wednesday. The game of the eight... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Seven days. Right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. So, seven days. The seven days... The seven days pick. I think we'll have to come up with something better. The pick of seven days... Yeah, that might be good. Um, so yeah, 200, uh, 202 plats. So complete Novera and get to Vermeer in Mass Effect 1. Because we did jack shit 
last rain, uh, last the last uh, seven days before that we didn't get anywhere anywhere uh, that i thought i was because of leapfrog because you know um we had to score those like five trophies or something like that um now it's getting interesting and um so uh it's got a trophy log i did just show you I'll just show you Mass Effect. Okay. So I wanted to get to uh, Navera and finish Vermeer. Uh, complete Pharos. Look at that. Completed Navera. So I did do the first part of the goal. And I wanted to get to Vermeer. But I actually completed it. Look at that. Not only did I complete that. I also completed the first plate of Mass Effect uh on you know uh, one on the first playthrough uh any setting and completed the playthrough with the shield damage greater than the health i was aiming for that so mad you know that was my primary so we've really really come on leaps and bounds with mass effect in fact we finished our first playthrough we're on our second playthrough now it doesn't get too much of a look in because um of the contests that we are now in or we will be in another two contests as from the 5th of October. And the uh, last goal was to stay in the green. Well, we certainly did that. We did go into the red a little bit. I was hoping we weren't going to stay in the red uh, to Wednesday. But weekend, we were in the red. But like I so said, we had a real doozy of a weekend. Um... um earning trophies and shit so let's see what was the date last 23rd okay so 23rd anything from the 23rd so we got 19 we got so last one was palgy mix up uh on the ps4 so then we got crypto crypto was fun uh we haven't done read two yet we, we've we started it uh tanks of tanks and demons we got so we got one plat two plat word wheel by palgi three plat and task force campus four plat so we actually got four plats this uh wednesday to wednesday the seven days now then game of the week for me has to be of tanks and demons what a game what a, such a cool game right it's, it's, it's like a, a take on pac-man but with tanks and instead of ghosts you've got like these devil demon things running around because you're like in hell and you you, you got to run around with tank and you got to collect all the little um the the little uh beads or whatever uh, the little glowing things that are around the map. Um, they chase you. You can shoot them because you got a tank. But you do have limited bullets. But you get your bullets replenished after a while. Also, you can upgrade your tank. Also, you can buy different tanks. So, the last tank is really badass. But it still gets stretched towards the end of the game. Because even though you've got to um, defeat three bosses. The trophy list. 18 trophies um all silver and gold which is really really nice very very good for points uh beat the final boss okay where's the other one um purchase the hellbuster use boost complete 10 levels purchase the purchase red shadow complete five levels Beat the first boss. Where's the second boss? Because I'm sure there's one for defeating the second boss. So, beat the first boss. Oh, beat the second boss. There you go. And so, you, you see, no beat the third boss or fourth boss or anything like that. You see, beat the final boss. So there isn't three bo <laughs> there isn't three bosses like I thought there would be. There's about five, I think. 
five or six in total so you get to you you get to about um the fifth or sixth boss no no uh you get you get to the fourth or fifth boss and your best tank even fully upgraded starts to get pummeled quite a bit now there is a code for making it into god mode which then makes you completely inv uh, invincible it doesn't make the game as fun it doesn't make it as strategic god mode if you're going to be a trophy hunter and you want to blast it out sure god mode why not why not you can even purchase i believe you can purchase the thousand credits but those thousand credits because i think it's a thousand um photons uh let me see is there one for getting all of the photons hang on a minute no i don't think so but i think you can purchase ten thousand or a a thousand photons and you could buy all your 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 uh tanks or whatever um and uh buy all the armor uh weapon upgrades armor upgrades speed upgrades uh all sorts of other upgrades and blast through it no problem but you know what it is and i'd only do that if you want to blast through the trophies because you're trophy hunter and you want to move on to the next game i get it because i'm trophy hunter myself but it's more enjoyable and more of a challenge if you do it normal it absolutely is i mean you could even go and enter the code get your photons upgrade your tank and then play it as normal you're still going to get stretched you still are going to get stretched it's it's a really really good game i 100 uh um advise it uh recommend it it's five dollars on the psn store right now i don't think it's cross by I, I, or i don't think it's uh on a different thingy no it's not it's not on the v2 it's just on the ps4 on its own um yeah fantastic game guys i think you would enjoy it i think you would enjoy it. it took me one day seven hours can't remember i think i started it and then i had to go to bed i think that was it or i was splitting the trophies through uh leapfrog probably um word wheels not bad but yeah my pick my pick of the seven days the seven day seven seven sin there we go that's it that's what it is the seventh sin I don't know if that works. You know, it's seven days and seen Trophy Honor. Yeah. Uh, let me know what you think in that. You'd be like, no, Sin. No, no. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Um, if you've got any ideas what you want to call it, what, what, you, what, I, what you think I should call it when I get my teeth put back in, um, any ideas on what you think I should call it or this section of the vlog maybe, let me know. Let me know. I would, I'd be open to some ideas there, folks. Um, obviously, we're loving Mass Effect. Love, 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 love. But it's now going to take a back bench for a bit because the only two trophy, uh, well, the only three trophies I think we're going to earn on the next playthrough. Because I was a little bit stupid. I designed an engineer for the three playthroughs. And they don't do these, do they? And you can't get these trophies through your your teammates. So I'm going to have to do hardcore and... Um, uh, what What's the other one? Um, insanity mode as an engineer. To make it progress up through being... Um, ported into the next game so yeah so the, the 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 only trophy that we're i would earn on the second playthrough would be paragon long service medal um i don't quite know which ally i would take yet but two allies so that's one two th uh that's three four including the other ally um so there would be four just for argument's sake uh complete mass effect uh playthrough on hardcore so that's five is that right that's five and possibly reach level 60 because we're level 51 
at the end of uh, first playthrough. So we could possibly get level 60 on the end of it. So we probably get six, six out of the remaining 31. So that would give us 37 trophies, leaving us 10 for the, the platinum. So the third, the third run would be absolutely dead. It would be complete mass effect uh, on insanity and two ally trophies. That would be it. Because I don't think there's complete Mass Effect on three, three times. No, no, there isn't. So even with six trophies, it still might be doable to use in the contest. I might, I might dust it off if I, if I get my Leapfrog trophies. Which, in fact, right, right now we're on day seventeen, right here, and we are through. You see, we're right here. We got our seventeen trophies. Um. Tomorrow will be 18. Um, if I get the 18 trophies early and I got some time, then we go Mass Effect because there's no other thing to earn trophies in just yet. So it's, it's quite doable. But we're in a second contest now. The Great True Trophy Score Challenge 2020. I've been in this, I think I was in the 2019 one. And... It was fun. It was fun, but I knocked myself out stupidly. Um, and uh, we are also in the singular and we're in the team. Um, so if I pull up our details, hang on a second. View all teams. I th or is it just go to my my uh, profile here? Um, is there anything about teams here? Uh no. I'll go to my home page. And we should do. It might it might not be up. Trophy streaks, my friends. Upcoming sessions, nothing. It's a wish list. Uh, okay, we'll go back to the, the page and see if we can view all teams. Okay, so there we are. Okay, we're called Her Hell's Almighty Sin. So we got Hell's Fate, Almighty Sharkster and me. So I click on Hell's Almighty Sin. There we go. This is who's involved. <coughs> And we are confirmed, which is cool. And we're also in our singular um, thingy as well. Now this is a different um, comp contest. Uh, this is going to take the true trophy difference. That means it's going to take the true trophy score. So let me give you an example, folks. Um, let's go to... Uh, I'm going to go my games, but I don't see... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's over here, isn't it? My games. Here we go. They're completed. I think. So we're going to go to my collection. So here we go, for example. Right. So read two is worth... This is true trophy. Uh, this is worth 1,212 points, okay? Then they're going to take the XP and minus the 1,170. So that's going to be absolute rubbish to play. And that's what we got to take into account. So we got to find some really high scoring games. If we go to PlayStation Games... And we'll add a filter, say, like, uh, uh, yeah, we'll go score, actually. There we go, that's what I wanted. So Elder Scrolls Online, it's worth 21,860 points, minus 3,975. This means this is badass for a competition, but... It's an MMO. It's going to take a long time. So you got to think about how long it's going to take to the difference of the true trophy uh, score 
minus the XP. A lot of thinking to go on it. Poor almighty Sharkster is actually overthinking it, bless him, and I think he's going to give himself a hemorrhage. Um, but we're doing we're doing pretty good on working out what we're going to be playing. And it goes back to normal, look. So we'll put it back to there. What other thing, what other one we can pick on? Neverwinter, that has DLC. Try and find one that doesn't have DLC just to make it look like... Uh, see, Minecraft has a lot of DLC. Neverwinter does. Don't know about Firewall. Um... Does Gems of War have DLC? Elite Dangerous. Sin, uh, City Skylines does. I know that. Um, let's go for one without DLC. That I know of, anyway. And... Elder Scrolls Skyrim VR. And we know the DLC is all built into it. So you don't have to buy DLC and shit. So it's worth 7,628 points and minus the 1,680 points. That's so still worth a good amount. 5,000 at least or 5,000 plus points. That is going to be a good one. It's VR, so not many people are going to have it. Not many people can do it. Um, so that that is that is a pretty decent game to to go with, but you know your your really fast games, like say Seed. Seed is a pretty fast game, so we're gonna have a look at that. See, Seed is worth one thousand two hundred and forty-seven, but you're gonna minus one thousand two hundred and thirty, leaving you seventeen points. So you see how it works, guys. And so that's what we are saving up for now. So tomorrow I've got to get 18 trophies. Um, I haven't got quite a plan on that yet. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, there is Read 2. Read 2 is causing me a problem because it's pla I'm not a very good platformer. Uh, any NMG Invasion. Maybe Crossovers? Maybe crossovers or energy invasion because it's on Vita. I, you know, I'm not going to stream it, so that could be a good one to do. I think maybe, yeah, maybe energy crossovers is next. Um, and looking like our next game that we're going to purchase this weekend is Big Dipper. I'm not sure if it's cross by because it is on Vita and PS4, so that'll be interesting to find out. Uh, what else we got? Um, that's it. That's it. I uh, gotta go back to where I go back to, and there we go. So a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. How long have we been going? One hour and three minutes. Jesus fuck. Predictions. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it. We need to figure out, and then I go go and finish this, and then I go go and fetch the food in from the door. Otherwise, Mrs. is going to kill me. So, <clears throat> uh, what are we at? Um, thirty nine, thirty twenty twenty. Okay, so we want to stay in the green. Obviously, let's do that. We're going to stay in the green. Stay in the green. And finish intro. Or at least get the uh, uh, play button off it so we can use it. Because I'll be, I'll be really happy for that. Uh, let's go back to the profile for a second. Sorry about this. Uh, let's get some profile predictions here. So things are hotting up in uh, Leapfrog. And I want to say 206 Platinums. Good think. 
206. I would say 206 platinums. So that's another four platinums. Maybe 260 is too low. Maybe, uh, maybe 208. Because the other contest starts on the 5th. Let's have a look at this. Which is before next Wednesday. Mm, and we're going to be scoring some points, points, points. Um, but we're not going to be doing platinums too much. That's the thing. We're not going to be doing platinums too much. I'm going to go with 206. 206 plats. Right. So country rank. 1,000 and... I'm going to say 1,690. 1,690. Because I can see a lot of trophies coming. World rank. 7,080. Uh, no, 7,800. 7,800. World. I think I just heard my name. I think I did. Um, and then, what else we got? That that will do for that. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. I took took a good few hours to get through. Uh, uh, you know, uh, through the first playthrough. Um, I know I'd like to get to the seventy-five percent Paragon. Maybe. Yeah, I think. I think this uh, Paragon Paragon trophy. And I think that's it. And my wife is at the door now, so she's pulling in the shopping. And so I really feel bad. So I will catch you guys uh, tomorrow on the update vlog of what's been going on in the health side of things. Just to keep you guys in the loop. Um, don't worry uh, too much about me. There's nothing that we don't know of to worry about yet or anything like that. Maybe just something very simple. Um, but we, I will definitely be honest with you and everything like that so until next time folks until tomorrow actually till tomorrow stay cool this is in trophy honor peace